It was about 1980, I was nine years old, and my brother came home and he looked at my grades and my twin sister's grades. He said, you know, you guys can probably become aerospace engineers or even astronauts. And this was at the time that Sally Ride and a group of women were selected to become astronauts, first time in history. So he made that comment and I said, wow, that would be so cool. So we ended up going to a really small Jesuit school in Syracuse, New York called Lemoyne College. And hindsight is 2020, best thing uh, we ever did. When I went to undergrad, I wanted to go into aerospace engineering, but I went to a really small Jesuit school. So I ended up in physics, and then when I got to graduate school, I said aerospace engineering it is. And then during the summers, I worked with a group called En-ROADS. And En-ROADS helps students find summer jobs, summer internships at major corporations. Like the two corporations, the one corporation I actually worked with was Anheuser-Busch in Syracuse, um, Baldwinsville, New York, near Syracuse. And so that was the one group that I, I worked with undergrad. And I ended up going to the University of Maryland for aerospace engineering. The department chair at the time had a ton of money to do research in smart materials. I went to work for Ford Motor Company after graduating from the University of Maryland. Um, that was great, you know, doing research on cars, for cars, vibration analysis. And then I went over to work for the Central Intelligence Agency, where I was there for seven and a half years. You know, I did a lot of scientific stuff, but I also did a lot of operational stuff. We worked in non-proliferation issues, which um, was great. I mean, it was um, reverse engineering at its best. And so I ended up doing several other things with the Central Intelligence Agency, like going over, volunteering to go over to Iraq and work there for four months and, you know, help look for WMD, things like that. And so finally, when a friend of mine, Leland Melvin, called me and said, you know, they're accepting applications again, you should think about applying. 2008, I applied, and 2009, I was selected. And here I am. Oh yes, I did Nemo. That was, um, I, so I always wanted to do Nemo. I thought, it, when I first saw it, I thought it was one of the best analogs to space. You know, you can't just leave, you're kind of stuck with these people. Um, there's, six, there's six of you, um, and it's very international. We practice some um, analogs as if we were going to uh, exploit an asteroid. Um, the tools that we would use if we were going to an asteroid, like this giant um, drill that we had to set up and practice taking samples, and then excursions. The worst part of Nemo is having to purge, basically have to flood the helmet with seawater, salt water, gets in your eyes and then you have to purge it while you're lying on the bottom of the ocean. And so that's probably the least fun thing, but once that's done, it's all fun after that. 